Clinically isolated syndrome is a neurologic episode lasting at least 24 hours that causes symptoms ranging from numbness and tingling in the hands or toes to difficulty walking or blurred vision. If you have an episode of clinically isolated syndrome that suggests the possibility of MS, you may then have an MRI to confirm the existence of lesions on your central nervous system and determine their severity. If all indications are that you're likely to have another episode sometime down the road, then you may be a candidate for immediate treatment with disease-modifying drugs. However, not everyone with CIS goes on to develop MS, and there is no way to be 100% sure that someone will or won't. Deciding to take the medications has to be based on discussions with your doctor about the risks and benefits to you. Several injectable and oral medications are now approved by the FDA for clinically isolated syndrome. There is a possibility that these medications may prevent CIS from becoming MS. But even if you go on to develop MS, we believe that early treatment can help dampen damage to the central nervous system and slow down disease progression. For more information on managing MS, watch the other videos in this Q&A.